basically I control three different arms. I've got two on my right hand and one on my left, and I also control the camera. Any allergies? Allergies? ASA? Surgeon Alexis Shisas and his team are prepping another patient for robotic surgery, something the team at Guy's and St Thomas's have now done 10,000 times with this Da Vinci machine. I've got uh, two sort of graspers and a pair of scissors. And on, the gras on one of the graspers and the pair of scissors, there's energy so we can burn and cut through things without uh, and stop it bleeding so it doesn't bleed. Today, they're removing a bit of cancerous colon. The robot allows precision work, with Alexis controlling it from the corner of the room. So we basically uh, just mobilise the whole left side of the bowel, so from the spleen up the top here down to uh, the top of the rectum. Here, he's putting clips on a blood vessel. That's it, scissors next. Guys and Tommies do more robotic surgery than any other hospital trust, something like 1,700 procedures a year, and are now using it on more conditions than when they first started nearly 20 years ago. Precision, uh, it filters out tremor, you get an immaculate 3D view, uh, the surgeon's in a very nice ergonomic position so you don't get tired and you can do many operations over many years. But from the patient, the key outcomes are you know, better able to cure cancer in some cases, better, better and quicker recovery, smaller scars, less blood loss, less risk of, of having to go back to theatre for, for complications. So lot, lots of patient benefits. Ben operated on Rachel here. Just a couple of weeks after having her daughter three years ago, they removed a cancerous tumour from her kidney. She was keen not to be in hospital too long. So I literally gave her our last feed in the morning, ran across the road, went straight in for surgery. And then, yeah, then when I woke up, I think all together it was 25 hours I was in there and then I was out, yeah. Back in theatre, Alexis and the team are nearly done. Carl Mercer, BBC London.